Philadelphia teens caught in this shocking racist video. <laughs> Spray painting one girl's face black and making comments like this. Oh, black and I'm brown. In another part of the video, appearing to mock Black History Month. You're a black girl. <laughs> you know your roots. <laughs> it's February. The appalling video posted on social media and then shared widely, leading to protests outside St. Hubert's Catholic High School for Girls, where three of the teens are students, according to the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. How dare they? Son needs to be dead today. Parents and civil rights activists calling on the school and archdiocese to take immediate action. I want justice. I want reform. They have to do something. Nicole Hines saying she pulled her daughter out of the school after alleged racist conduct. They would scream the N-word or they would, you know, just a lot of microaggressions, pull on their hair and laugh about it, video it. The Archdiocese says it was only made aware of that video yesterday, but has seen it and forwarded the matter to the Office of Catholic Education. This video recorded off school grounds is no less disturbing. You're nothing but a slave. <laughs> After this, you're doing my laundry. A fourth teen in the video was from another school, Franklin Town Charter, issuing a statement condemning hateful behavior and saying the former student who took part has, quote, no place at our school. It's unclear if the student was enrolled at the time of the video. The Archdiocese issuing a statement calling the behavior vile and saying the students allegedly responsible are not present in school and are being disciplined appropriately, adding any other students involved will also face disciplinary action. Quote, we take this opportunity to be abundantly clear that there is no place for hate, racism, or bigotry at St. Hubert's or in any Catholic school. But community leaders are calling for more. When I saw the video, it was a form of oppression and a form of marginalization. Chad Dion Lassiter, director of the Pennsylvania Human Rights Commission, says the Civil Rights Enforcement Agency is offering bias and cultural sensitivity training to the school. I think it's very important for these young people to know what blackface is. But we also need to make sure that we're not assuming that they don't know what blackface is. But he says outside the classroom is where the work really needs to occur as well. The school can do what they need to do, but the work really in earnest has to happen in the community, in those homes. <laughs> All right, that video hard to watch. Valerie Castro joins us now. Valerie, do you know anything more about the investigation or the punishment that these girls may face? So the Archdiocese says there is an ongoing review of the incident, and they, quote, don't want to leave any stone uncovered. As for possible punishments, they say it ranges from a minimum of suspension with counseling. The maximum, of course, would be expulsion. The school has gotten some general threats since this all came to light. The Archdiocese says students will be learning at home for the rest of the week as a precaution. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.